Diversity is actually really important when telling a good story, especially a fantasy story. While the word diversity often gets highly politicized by today's culture, often only being applied to race and gender, there's actually all kinds of diversity that makes each character unique. When telling a good adventure story, either can work, but each character must be able to define themselves, make them stand out from the rest, not just physically, but through personality, possibly even background. And right now it's this kind of diversity that's making me really interested in Xenoblade Chronicles 3 despite dropping the second game, like, in the very beginning. From what I understand, Xenoblade 2 has a very good story, but I just really couldn't get into the gameplay. Controlling one character to control another character like a Pokemon Meh, I just didn't like it. Now, however, it looks like you can control multiple characters simultaneously, meaning there's more of a chance I might actually get into this one. One of the big draws for me is that all the characters look diverse in a fantasy sense. From what I can tell, there are only two humans in the cast, both humans being of different ethnicity. Everyone else looks like a completely different race, to me, this seems like a fair balance as far as fantasy diversity goes. But it also looks like the characters will have their own personalities and stand out, not just by their physical appearance. The one that really catches my attention is the big guy with the gray skin. I like his design. As for who's going to be my waifu this game, probably the cat girl, because, you know. But probably personality will be the deciding factor. I know next to nothing about the interconnected lore of the Xenoblade games or how each game connects to each other. Outside of similar races and aesthetics, they all seem like completely different universes. I also feel like I'm making too many Sonic videos. If I enjoy this game and get into this story, maybe I can make some individual contents about snippets and characterization. If you're a Xenoblade fan, um, please let me know in the comments what you think of the game so far. What you think I should expect. Also, for my subscribers, I'm still debating whether or not I should do a review of the boys or not. Nobody else is really talking about it, and I already kind of turned on the show because I thought Jupiter's Legacy was better as far as superhero deconstructions go. But yeah, let me know what you think of the game, and please subscribe for more content. Thank you.